Well, in this screencast, we begin the search for a rectangle in neutral de geometry, but we do it by talking about this thing called defect. A defect, so when we say the defect of triangle ABC, that's a lowercase delta. And when we say defect of triangle ABC, uh, so the defect of triangle ABC is 180 minus the angle sum of triangle ABC. So uh, defects are the gap between 180 and the angle sum. That's the, that's the idea behind defect. What we want to show in this theorem, the important result, is that defects are additive. That is to say, if you have triangle ABC and you have E on segment BC, then the defect of triangle ABC is equal to the defect of this triangle plus the defect of this triangle. So uh, looking at the defect, uh, so let's just throw some things in for good measure. A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, when we say the defect of triangle A, B, E, that's 180 minus a plus B plus C, and when we say the defect of triangle ECA, we mean 180 minus D plus E plus F. So what is this? Well, C and D add up to 180, so C and negative C and negative D cancel that out, and so you've got 180 minus A, B, E, and F. Yep, seems like it works for me. The defect of triangle ABC is equal to the sum of the defects of the two small triangles. Then you've got quadrilateral ABCD, and you're looking at, oh, that's terrible. That's terribly wrong. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Defect of ABC plus defect of ACD. So when we say the defect of quadrilateral ABCD, that's the gap to 360. Uh, 360 minus the angle sum of A, B, C, D, and you can run a similar proof. It is not terribly difficult. And figure out that the defect of this quadrilateral is the same as the sum of the defects of these two triangles here. So the big, big takeaway here is that defects are additive. And by breaking up a figure into smaller figures, we can add defects and we use that in proofs that follow. So this is a nice tool to stick in your toolbox. Hope you do. Uh, what's up next is what happens in our geometry if a rectangle exists.